It's been five months since I gave birth, but my belly still look like a balloon. People ask if I'm pregnant. Hi, I'm Becky Choi. I am your postpartum corrective exercise specialist. So today I have a question from this mama here. She delivered five months ago and um, she is still feeling like her belly is like a balloon and people ask if she was pregnant. She doesn't know what to do. Please help. So I wanted to talk to you about this and it's common that um, the belly doesn't just shrink back in like you see other moms and celebrities on social media they felt like you know after a month they delivered the baby they don't have the tummy anymore the tummy disappear right like oh where did the belly go like I thought she just had a baby it's just such a pressure for moms to get back in shape she's a mom and and she has kids and she's still able to hold up her figure very nicely and all of that and maybe you are even in your friend circle nobody has that kind of trouble and belly except for you you're feeling very lost very first thing I want you to check is to see if you have diastasis recti if you have diastasis recti this could be the very reason why you're not able to lose that belly even if you have a c-section even if you have vaginal birth you have suction whatever it is check if you have diastasis recti and it's very simple to do all you need to do is lie down and do a mini crunch and feel that fingers on the belly and see if you can find a gap in between the core muscles there how many fingers can you fit into the belly button area out lower and below and also how deep can you sink in the fingers so you can do this yourself at home anywhere anytime preferably in the morning because you will be feeling less bloated you can ask your doctor to check it for you you can ask your physio to check it for you or even your husband but it's best for you to just be more acquainted with your body and don't be afraid to touch your body if you're able to feel two fingers gap into your belly or three fingers that means that you have a diastasis recti now one is very normal even one and a half is actually quite normal we all have some sort of a gap after a baby and because of just how big our belt belly gets to uh, accommodate a growing baby in the tummy but if you still feel like okay there's a two three four five fingers or six fingers gap into the muscles here then that means that you do have a diastasis recti and we need to address that it won't it will not just shrink back by itself after three months postpartum because the spontaneously uh, phase of healing after you deliver the baby is the first six weeks that's kind of the golden window a lot of people just snap back in shape because in that six week they their body responds really well and it's just like go back in shape but for other moms at three months postpartum if their belly doesn't go in anymore it won't go in just by itself anymore you need to intervene in it with exercises with nutrition so we can get that going so check yourself to see if your diastasis worked out first and if you do then we need to target some exercises with breathing with core engagement and with nutrition how to repair con the connective tissue uh, with the right kind of nutrients so that way you can help you help yourself to feeling less bloated so that you can actually strengthen the core without the puffiness in the front and, and with progressively loading exercises there's definitely hope when it comes to healing diastasis i have a lot of clients over 500 clients that i have helped to help them heal the diastasis recti from having that balloon belly to having a flat tummy flatter tummy i don't guarantee you have a flat tummy just like you had before baby at the, you know after all we had babies right we, we our bodies are amazing our body bodies as a human as a woman as a mom our bodies are miracles to accommodate two or three you know more babies right but there's definitely hope that you can have a flatter tummy much flatter tummy than you are right now you just have to uh, work on the plan strategically so yeah if you wanted to find out more information and like have some tips and tools and also or sort of exercises that you could do to help you to get started check out my instagram at becky Choi underscore take a look at that i have a a lot of uh, a carousel post there um, some mini education so you don't read a whole bunch of things but like uh, but like you know you can implement something quick and then you can chat with me inside in my dm box i'm very active there i would love to learn more about you and see where you're at all right talk to you later bye